This is going to be a very uh, interesting topic on frustration and its impact on operational performance. And my first question is, can you first provide a brief background of yourself? Yes. Uh, hello, Dustin. Yes, thank you for having me here. Uh, so generally, I would say uh, I am combining several roles in my life, uh, and I will tell you later when I'm starting like this. So I am happy, happy woman. I am wife and mother of uh, two kids. And professionally, I'm global logistic manager in automotive industry, uh, where I'm uh, responsible for seven plants all over the world. At the same time, I'm coach, mentor, and trainer. And generally, I am working mainly with the subjects which are related with difficult emotions, uh, especially in business environment. So that's where, from where I'm coming. And I'm treating all my employees and clients as a whole individual. So I'm not splitting them between p personal and business uh, sites but I'm taking them as a global one whole uh, person. Oh, that's interesting. From then, yeah, yeah. From then it's coming as well, the, the, this, uh, the subject of frustration, I suppose. And can you talk about frustration? Um, <clears throat> what does it mean and how does it impact operations? Yeah, so generally... Each emotion we are having is telling us something. So uh, I know that people are um, differentiating between positive and negative emotions. I'm more uh, focused on emotions as generally. And then each emotion is coming for something, uh, is willing to tell us something, show us something and focus our, uh, our attention to, to something which is happening in our life, which is important. And frustration generally is just uh, making a point that, okay, look, what you are doing is not bringing you the results you expect. And that's why we start to feel this frustration. It is not bad. It is just showing us that, okay, that's not potentially the way you will achieve your target. Or maybe the target is not the correct one. So that's what we should take from the frustration. Unfortunately, very often we have tendency when we, we meet frustration on our way that uh, we start to blame people. We start to look for excuses, etc. So there is coming this uh, powerlessness feeling, which is not making the, the whole situation better, but worse. And then people, especially at work, they start to feel demotivated because, okay, I'm repeating and doing all the time something and that's not bringing me the results. So then they start to feel guilty. There is a pre uh, pressure for the result which is not coming, so then it is really a lot of uh, different things which are influencing the way we feel. And then because we don't feel well, our operational performance is not the best one. So uh, there is a direct link between why frustration, which is not addressed, which is just the beginning of the spiral of neg neg negative behaviors, is influencing our uh, operational result. Uh, what are other areas where frustration is coming? For example, we think that we deserve to be uh, to be promoted, that we deserve to have a salary increase, that we deserve to, to be appreciated by a boss, and that's not coming. So once more, we have expectation, which is not met, and then it's really a point where frustration is raised, when it is just coming to the surface. And then when we don't look into it, when we don't uh, understand from where it's coming and what it's telling us, we just going with this blaming and uh, looking for excuses circle, which is bringing us to nowhere. Then we have people who are demotivated, who are not satisfied with work, uh, who don't see a future in the company, and they are leaving, especially with the young people right now. It is very, very visible, and as well with high potential employees who, when the, their ideas are not implemented, when the, the, it is not appreciated enough, as they expect it should be, they are just leaving company. And how can you effectively address this problem? Uh, in the easiest possible way is just to talk, uh, because once you start 
find that what you are doing is not bringing you the result, is not meeting your expectations. And then you, you differentiate between the things, okay, have I really impact on it? Or it is totally out of my influence zone. And then really take care of everything what you can, what you can change. That, for example, let's take that, uh, yes, I, am, I feel frustrated because I, I, I'm not appreciated enough by my boss. Okay, is it really something which is so important for me? Or uh, is it something I can influence on? Because I can always ask my boss directly, okay, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure if you appreciate what I'm doing. Could you give me a the feedback if it's so important? And then I will at least know. Uh, if, for example, I am making something and it is not bringing the result, so I'm doing all the time the same thing. So the question is, is it really the way I chosen to do this task is the correct one? Maybe I can change something or maybe I can find someone who will help me. So really to address why the result is not coming and what I can do with it instead of feeling frustrated about this. Because frustration, if it's not addressed, it will just bring us down with our uh, mental uh, state, with the way we uh, really feel. So, uh, but when we start to talk about this, so for example, with my uh, with my uh, employees, those are local logistic managers who report to me. We have quite systematically discussions. Okay, so what's happening? How do you feel? And then what are the subjects which are not really going as you wish? And then we just talk about the, the way they feel about this and just speaking about this is bringing a lot of different idea. First is changing the perspective. So you stop looking at the subject from your correct way as you are right now and just you start to see it from totally different angle. And then suddenly you discover, okay, yeah, but I can do this, this, this and this and why I feel so frustrated about this. That's okay. So it is really the, the easiest from all the methods just to talk about this, try to understand and uh, look at the frustration as something which is bringing you some interesting input. And do you have any other um, success examples? Uh, fr from my from my environment, uh, because I'm working with uh, with emotions. Uh, for like four years already, and I'm working with my with my managers. I'm as well working with my clients in coaching sessions or in a, during the trainings, where really uh, just addressing this frustration and asking people to talk about this is really improving their uh, well-being and the way they they, they see themselves. However, the biggest success I have, it's maybe not from business side, but from, from my kids, where I have a son who is four years old and he gets frustrated very often because that's the, the age where they really start to be angry if something is not going as they want. And exactly the same methods as I'm using with managers, I'm using with my kid and he's able to calm down within a couple of minutes and immediately find another solution. And for me, it is the great example how the simplest possible method, just ask a question, give the time for reflection, change the perspective, is bringing wonderful self-reflection and give access to totally different solutions. Uh, so that's what I'm implementing uh, in my work, and I really see great results in, in the way how people behave, how they feel satisfied at work, and how wonderful results they are getting on operational side. Oh, well, thanks for sharing today on this very uh, enlightening topic, which is useful for managers uh, in their work to be, have a happy work life. Uh, yes, and you, you can believe me, frustration is just the, the beginning of all emotions which we, we do have in, in business. However, they are very often not, uh, not addressed properly, but uh, I hope it will come. It will come. Thank you as well for, for this discussion, Justin, today. Thank you.